folks. Again, Tony coming to you live from the SHOT Show 2013. Now today, we're doing all kinds of interviews with the ladies of competitive shooting. Now we got a chance to talk to Michelle Viscusi. Yes. From Team Glock. Hey Michelle, tell us a little bit about your background. A little bit about my background. I started shooting when I was 15 years old. I joined the military when I was 19, and after I got out of basic training, I started a competition shooting. So ever since then, I've I started going to um, my hometown USPSA matches, IDPA, a little bit of steel challenges, and here there I you am. are. Yeah. Awesome. What are your goals for this season? My goals for this season is uh, just you know uh, improve, improve, and just move on up. Uh, I've got about 20 matches scheduled for this year, so you know just shoot straight and. Yep. Awesome. Get a great, great opportunity to talk to Tori Nanaka from Team Glock. Hello, everyone. Hey, Tori, tell us a little bit about you and your background, how you got started. Absolutely. My story is when I was three years old, my dad let me shoot my first gun, 22 long rifle, real emphasis on safety. And then from there, I had target shot with him on the weekends. When I turned 12, he and I went out to the class, learned a lot, came back, shot a local match, and I, I stuck with it. And then, um, you know, tried out a Glock. I found it worked the best for me, and then later on I got match experience, some recognition, and a couple junior titles, and they later asked me to be on the team, and now I uh, you know, get to represent them in an industry. Awesome. What are your plans for 2013? 2013. I'm so excited. New year. Right? We got it kicked off with a great shot show, awesome. day three, and uh, from here I'll go to the Florida Open, and then I got New Zealand. That's a really big one for me. Wow. So. Uh, I'd be traveling that part of the world. That's awesome. And then uh, I'm really excited actually. I'm hoping to get some more titles under my belt because I got, you know, I did the time, got match experience the past few years, shot lots of rounds, and I'm uh, very excited to, you know, bring it all together. 2013 is where I get to bring all the work together that awesome, I've done. And, uh, so I'm really excited and definitely ready to Cool, go. man. It was great talking to you. Nice I'll talking see you down at Florida Open. Oh, I'll see you there. Do well. What a great opportunity. It was really just spontaneously happened. We get to talk to Vera Koo. Uh, hey Vera, awesome the opportunity to talk to you. Tell us a little about yourself. Well, um, yeah, I've been shooting the IP Cup for the last 17 years and I won the National Women title for the world. Wow. And then um, just in September in Germany, my, my partner, teammate, Helen Javon and I won first place team women. Wow, that's awesome. What are your plans for the 2013 season? Well, I want to go to uh, Columbia, Missouri to do the national, and I will be traveling. Yeah, me actually have to travel. Um, I've been practicing a lot. Oh yeah. And um, I do maybe 16 matches a year. Awesome. Uh, sometimes in addition to the Oh wow. Yeah. Well, hey, I, I know I know you're a busy gal. Eight-time national champion. What a great opportunity. Thanks, Vera. I really appreciate it. Now we get a chance to talk to team member of FNH, Carla Hertzig. What a great opportunity. Hey, tell us a little bit about you. All right. Uh, this is my second season being, or my second season being sponsored by FN. Uh, awesome. Fairly new to the, to the sport of free gun and also fairly new to competitive shooting. Uh, I didn't start competitive shooting until uh, 2009, so about four years ago. Let me do the math. Yeah, about four years ago uh, that right. I got into pistol shooting, uh, and it was, uh, while I was, I, I kind of got sucked into pistol shooting, and then one day I was looking through the channels at home and I saw Free Gun Nation on television. Uh, and that show happened to feature uh, Diana Lydorf and, and uh, Tasha Erickson, two of, the, two of the FN lady shooters at the time. And I said, man, I can shoot better than they can. I can totally do that. Um, I can't shoot better than they can. <laughs> not, right. not yet. Um, and so I, I saw Free Gun Nation on TV and I, and I decided that uh, I was going to go out to, uh, to try my local Free Gun Nation. I went out that, that day, that later that summer, and I shot a local free gun match by my house, and I was hooked. Awesome. Um, that was uh, that was at the end of the at, that was at the end of the season in 2010, and so 2011 winter, I, I sat at home and I and I and I mapped out all the matches that I wanted to go to for that season. I decided I was just going to go for it, and uh, and I just started showing up, and it was really great to see how the shooting community takes care of each other, uh, even when you're kind of new, especially when you're kind of new. Right, absolutely. Uh, and you have, you have no idea what you're doing out there. Uh, everybody was there offering tips and suggestions and blending gear and everything else, giving me rides to matches. It was really great to see the shooting community uh, take care of each other. Uh, and it was through that process that I uh, that I stumbled on uh, Tommy Thacker of Team FNH, you would say. I, I, I'm fortunate to live in proximity of FN headquarters, so I stumbled into him at a local match and he gave me some tips. And, uh, 
know, we, we kept talking from there. And next thing I knew, I was being invited on the team. It was really exciting. Really awesome. What are your plans for 2013? 2013, uh, I've been invited to participate in the Three Gun Nation Ladies Pro Series. Uh, so that will be my focus for the year. Um, so I'll be switching back to shooting TAC optics uh, in Three Gun. Uh, probably won't be shooting a lot of USBSA this year. Uh, uh, I love I love pistol competition, but three gun is three times as fun. Sure is. <laughs> awesome. Cool. So, so I'm really excited about that, and then I, I'll probably hit I'll hit those four matches, and probably hit four or five other large three gun matches for the year. So uh, my my first order of business when I get home from shot show is to work out one of my shotgun. So, Absolutely, that's the, that's the toughest part. Another great opportunity to talk to Diana Lydorf of Team FNH. Diana, tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm from Tulsa, Oklahoma. I'm actually a police officer. Been there for 20 years. And I want to quit and do this full time. <laughs> My bullets cost a lot of money, so I'll stay. <laughs> awesome. What are your plans for the 2013 season? Uh, lots of three gun matches. Uh, we already hit some distributor matches or distributor shows for FN. Uh, so I'm going to be on the go a lot. Awesome. Another great opportunity to talk to Team Benelli member and national champion Katie Harris. Katie, tell us about yourself. Well, I'm 17. I'm in high school. I shoot for Benelli, head down. Uh, Rock Castle Shooting Center. I do competition shooting with three guns and I travel all over the country and shoot major matches all around the country and everything like that. And then I am a six time national champion, three junior titles, two lady titles, and a single stack national champion holder ship for my first time shooting it. Awesome. What's your plans for 2013? Well, 2013, I've been placing in the top 50 range for 2012, and then I want to get into the top 25 this year, start beating up on some guys like that. Nice. Very cool. We get a chance to talk to the Alley Cat. Alley, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I started, got my first gun when I was nine years old, and didn't really start competing until 2011. I just fell in love with it. Um, Shoot mostly USPSA, get into three gun with Terra Tactical Innovations. Um, I start shooting more three gun, maybe Ruger Rim Fire for Gulf Horton. Awesome. And Terra Cool. What's, what's your plans for 2013? 2013, basically focus a little more on three gun with Terra, uh, get more into that sport. Uh, also, more USPSA, more uh, Ruger Rim Fire, and just kind of just kick butt, that's it. Kick butt. Awesome. Now we talked to Randy a little bit earlier, but let's talk to her again, just to have her as part of our crew. Randy, awesome to see you again. Again, go back over, tell us about you, what you've done, how much of a superstar you are. Well, it's great to see you too. Um, 2012 was a great year for me. Uh, I was able to win two back-to-back -back national championships at the USPSA, so I was very excited about that. I won introduction in Ladies Women in 10, and then I also won the IDPA National Championship, both the indoor and the outdoor. Awesome. What are your plans for 2013? My plans for 2013 are I'm going to get into three guns. So I shot my first three gun match last year and it was a learning experience. But this year I'm really excited. I've got all my gear ready to go and I'm going to go rock it. Awesome. We get a great opportunity to talk to Julie Galab, multi-time national champion. Hey Julie, really a great pleasure to talk to you. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, basically, I'm a professional shooter for Smith & Wesson and Benelli, and uh, I get to travel all around the world and shoot competitions. Awesome. What are your plans for 2013? Well, 2013, I'm a little bit preoccupied. I'm expecting my second baby, so uh, I won't be shooting much competitions, but uh, I'm looking forward to bringing a new shooter into the world. Awesome. Another great opportunity to talk to Kenda Lonsay. Kenda, tell us about you. I'm a cowboy mountain shooter. I've been shooting independently for 15 years off my horse. It's a, it's a great cowboy sport where uh, we take two guns, we run a course as fast as we can on the horse and shoot 10 targets. Now you've won a few matches, right? Here and there. What's your, what's your current standing? I know you're like world champion and all kinds of stuff. I, uh, I, in 2009 I became the first and only lady to win the Ohio Raw at a world championship and I still hold that title. Uh, What's your plans for 2013? I'm hitting the road as soon as I get home from the shot show. And get back, getting back on the horse? Yeah, getting horse. back on the horse and I'll be traveling clear across the U.S. shooting it up. Awesome. Great opportunity to talk to Maggie Reese, multi-gun ninja. Maggie, tell us about you. Two-time, two-time multi-gun ninja. Twice in uh, nationals at USPSA. Awesome. Um, so that was very exciting. I'm here at shot show. I'm with Safari Land and Surefire and Hornady. 
fun to go around and see everybody and say hi and shake some hands and just get to, get to meet people like you. Awesome. Tell you what's going on. Very, very cool. What are your plans for 2013? Well, actually, I'm really excited for 2013 because I had a knee injury, which kind of precluded me from doing some competition last year, but I feel like I'm up and running and I'm recovered, so I'm really excited to go out there and particularly focus on Oregon. So I'm looking forward to competing in what's going to be the first uh, pro tour for the ladies on Oregon Nation. Very, very yeah. cool. So we're here today talking to Molly Smith of Team Miss Team Smith of Weston Action. Molly, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, um, I started shooting when I was about uh, 10 years old, and I've been going to Weston for about five years now. So it's been a terrific ride, and I absolutely love promoting uh, safe gun ownership and gun safety, especially among women and juniors, and just encouraging them to get involved with the sport. So awesome. that's why I'm here. What are your plans for 2013? Oh, I'm going to do a lot of matches. I'm writing a lot. I have my own blog. I write for various media outlets, and I'm doing some reporting on the side. So I'm really hoping just get out there and promote more and more for women shooters, junior well, shooters, and just safe guns. Awesome. We get a chance to talk to Kay and Lena, Family Affair, Mitch Lake. Very Got good. that right, then yeah, I'm yeah. awesome. Yeah. Hey, gals, talk to us about uh, about yourselves, okay? Uh, okay, Mitch Lake. I am a action shooting specialist. About the last 20 years, uh, a lot of handgun shooting, but now I'm doing mostly just three gun. Having a great time. I have a few world championships under my belt. A few 15 or 20 national championships. Right, uh, right. I'm just loving it. At this point in my career, I'm just having fun. Awesome. Okay, and I'm Lena Mitchell. This is really my first year as a shooting. Uh, I'm doing pretty much strictly three gun. I am currently the IPSC Shotgun World Champion, and last night I claimed the ladies. Wow. Yeah. That probably has nothing to do with your. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, nothing probably to do with that genetic gene pool thing that you got going. You know, you got you and, and Jerry. Obviously, that's that's a that's a good uh, that's a good stock to come from. Well, hey, what do you guys got planned for 2013? See everything. I have 22 matches on my schedule plus about five five day camps. Same thing. She's coming with me. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. she's your ride, so you guys are going together. Ride. Awesome. Hey, hit on that page with bullets for us right quick. Yeah, that's uh, a training, three day training program. Everything from ladies that have never touched a gun before all the way up to some people who are competing. Pretty intensive training for three days. We don't have the gear, so the lesson is giving us all the gear. We have all the guns, gear, ammo. Yeah, paper ammo. But anyway, uh, it's there. this is for ladies that want to get their feet wet in the action shoot. Great place to do it. All the instructors. Friendly, friendly atmosphere. Awesome. That's